Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Distant Worlds Universe. So before I start, I should say a few things. First, about the Star Trek mod that I was running. Um, that Star Trek playthrough at the moment is uh, dead. I have tried many things to try to resurrect it, but I can't seem to get it to go at the moment. So it is just sort of uh, gonna be in limbo. Hopefully a newer patch will solve the problem. But if you're looking down here, you can see I'm running version 1.9. 5.12 which is the beta version of the game and so I, I even tried that to try to get it to work but it just doesn't seem to want to go next uh, this playthrough may become a weekend only playthrough which means it would be released on Saturdays and Sundays uh, the reason for that is I really want to play Galsiv 3 when it comes out assuming that the game doesn't suck uh, and so that will probably become a the new Tuesday Thursday Saturday game that this that, that this is currently in the slot. That's not really a huge deal, by the way, because that just means that instead of getting three episodes a week, you get two episodes a week. Um, and Distant Worlds Universe by no means is going anywhere off the channel. With that all being said, let's talk about this playthrough. So we're going to be playing the Starfall mod. Uh, the Starfall mod is a major overhaul mod of Distant Worlds. It adds a lot of new techs, new races, um, it, it, it goes pretty crazy. In fact, uh, one of the problems they had was that there were too many components and adding more than 256 components would cause the game to crash, which in fact, this beta patch fixes. Uh, so hopefully this is pretty good. Uh, two other things I should say. I, this is being recorded at a higher bit rate than I was recording my other episodes and at 60 FPS. Now the only thing that I will say on the flip side is that I'm also using a different audio mechanism to record it at the moment. I might go back to my old audio mechanism, but for now that means my audio is going to be a little weird. Uh, last thing to say, I of course add in my own music over top of the game because the in-game music is copyright and I've had copyright problems with that before. Alright, with that all being said, let's uh, start a new game. Um, we're not going to, I don't know why it tells me to do this. I think we're just going to play a custom game as a standard empire. Uh, we are going to... Yeah, so we'll generate a new map. Let's do... I think Spiral is a nice... I mean, Clusters was a lot of fun when I played it. Uh, it means that Empires are all sort of roughly equal in size and power. Uh, and so actually, I think I'm going to go stick with Clusters, varied Clusters. We're only going to go with 700 stars. Makes the galaxy a little smaller, but it's fine. I think I'm going to go back to Pre-Warp, actually. Yeah, it's a little... Uh, we're gonna go to hard, by the way. It's a, a pre-warps a little slows down the game a little bit, but I feel like but like playing the game a little slower. We're gonna do normal here. I want to do slightly fewer pro pirates. I just find pirates to be anno annoying. Um, we're not gonna have pirates respawn. Uh, I think that's real good. The other thing we want to do, I don't want to regenerate anything. Maybe regenerate resources. Oh, this is a stand. Uh, uh, never mind. This is stupid. Sorry, I was I was thinking that this was for a new map. I know it's going to be this map over here. So uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use the same standard thing, which is to increase colony influence range and uh, reduce colony colonial range. But it's going to be 125 sectors, which is what I usually use. I believe 1.25 sectors is what you can uh, colonize out to. Um, this is all fine, I think. I want to pick a random race because uh, I don't know much about this. the individual races in this mod. I know some of these are well established and other ones are not uh, so well established by the, uh, by the mod creator, meaning that they haven't fully been fleshed out yet, but that's fine. I think, I think I'm going to just go with random race here. Um, we're not going to call it the Ice Crown this time. We'll call it uh, the Ice Vendetta. Sounds weird, I know. Um, let's make our main color... Well, if you go blue on blue, apparently you get white. Let's actually make our main color white. Can we do that? Can we make our main color white? No, we can only make our main color purple. Alright, we'll make our main color dark blue and our off color white. Uh, let's use... Is there anything that looks like ice? Ooh, this, this kind of looks like an ice crystal. So we'll do that. Um, we'll do random starting location. One sec, I have to sneeze. I apologize. 
All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna get this going. We're gonna keep these at all sort of the, the standard starting things. We're going to start with 11 empires, auto-generate starting empires, allowing dependent alien colonies to start new empires during the game. This is all fine. And um, we're gonna keep the victory threshold at 90%. Um, enable, the Shakturi should be disabled. Disasters will be fine. Race specific events will happen. Uh, disable the, the shadow story. Um, no, we're gonna keep the shadow story on. We're gonna disallow tech trading. Um, tech trading is kind of stupid, uh, and I can abuse it pretty heavily. So I'm just gonna turn it off because I think that will prevent me from abusing it. Otherwise, I think we're good. Do I want the the the, the distant worlds, the base story? Come on, why isn't this showing me this? Do I want the original story events? I don't think so, actually. All right, cool. So let's start the game. I'm gonna, you know, make a cut here and I'll, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, so uh, we're back and ready to play. I should say real quick that while I said I was gonna take a random race, the race I ended up getting was uh, one of the unfinished ones. So instead I went back to the mod page and found a finished one, which is uh, the Cyberxes. There's, there's actually several ones that are, are mostly finished, I should say. The Cyberxes are pretty cool. They're sort of like the Borg, cybernetic humans, or cyborg humans that uh, are cool and, and OP and this should be fun to play. They also have legendary heroes, so that should be good. Anyways, let's get right in on it. Uh, first thing I should say is we're, we're at the right time. Um, we have nothing built at all. Uh, let's just get the... Let's start by building a medium spaceport. Build a planet, Cyber Prime 2, um, medium spaceport. Starting with medium spaceport is usually fine. Anyway, let's talk about what's what's going on in this game while we have the game running. Um, first, the, the main thing about this game is to give more distinctive choices. So there's a huge tech tree compared to the main game. I mean, the tech tree is gigantic, uh, and it goes way out, too. Just a huge tech tree. So it, it incentivizes, you know picking a certain type of weapon and focusing on it. And everything is a set of trade-offs. So, you know, you look here and you see wave weapons have uh, 10 damage, 310 range, 25 energy used. These guys have 5 damage, lower range, less energy used, same speed, less damage loss, higher fire rate. So, you know, and you're going to see these sorts of trade-offs all over the place. Lower fire rate, more damage, um, has the ability to uh, be more effective against armor, Long range phasers, uh, fire much more slowly, uh, how is the long range phaser, besides firing more slowly for more damage, with, but no drop off, oh that's what's going on, no damage drop off, and then the range goes up, so yeah, long range phasers, then we got uh, long range ion cannons, ion cannons disable ship's shields, we have the gravitic weapons, um, we have area weapons, as of course. We have torpedoes, which I've always loved. Uh, starfighters. Uh, we don't get the Minog are the ones that get starfighter awesomeness, which would be pretty good to get. Uh, we are not going to get rail guns. I think I am going to focus. I usually like to focus on. I mean, there's lots of like. You have limited assault tactics, which give bonus to attack and light defense. You have. Uh, you know more balance to defense and attack and heavily on the defense and that you're gonna see a lot of this in everything like when we come to uh, To armored assault we'll have the standard armor assault thing But then we get these guys which are more attack less defense and so forth all the way down So you can decide if you want to be you know which Which way you want to You want the cookie to crumble now our mass drivers good The bypass shield, which is always good, but they don't seem to be doing a ton. The heavy mass drivers I always felt were so much worse than the other ones because of their ridiculously slow rate of fire. Yeah, I still feel like these guys are way better. Not only do you get until you get down to here do I feel like they really make sense. Total annihilation. What do we got here? Perfect ship assault. Ultra fighters. My fighters are really cool as a, a strategy. Oberon torpedoes. So I think I'm probably going to go torpedo at least as one of my primary weapons here. So let's just get the torpedo started research. 
and then maybe beam weapons i don't know but then we also got crazy shield technologies all sorts of hyperdrive splits hyperdrives are slower than they are in the main game um we have all sorts of crazy special jump drives the best jump drive only goes up to you know 44,000 is the fat or f oh, about 50,000 is the fastest if you go all the way down this line um shield technologies different types of uh of generators here depending on whom you are what you're looking at and then here we have a transport systems which is not i don't think we're going to be i guess i want to do that because it gives me the passenger compartment but we're going to have more things here they made um they make colonization capable you get these all these options basically and you should be able to colonize your planet but you have to research one of them to get the uh the basic colonization module so i'm gonna have to research one of these bad boys soon um, so hopefully we'll find something that is colonizable here in the relatively near future. We'll probably also need to get a smuggling mission. So that's fine. Um, let's just look here. What do we got here? We have desert planet. Low quality though, so almost certainly not worth colonizing barren rock moon barren rock moon barren rock moon barren rock moon do i could just click here and tell me you know i always wish you could do that this is a another barren rock moon but it does have the gate of cyber prime on it abandoned frigate and then we don't know anything else about the the world look how beautiful this map is though guys uh so unfortunately, we started in this little cluster, and we're right next to this huge cluster, which is going to put us at a little bit of a handicap, but I think we'll be fine, hopefully. Or we'll lose. I might lose. It's fine if I lose. Uh, anyways, let's get to speed four, because there's no reason to be going so slow. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I don't know which of these to start researching. He's also lowered the research cost on them by a lot, so they're not ridiculously expensive, nearly as ridiculously ex expensive as they were before. But I believe we should be able to build natively a, a colonial ship for a colony ship for us. You know, a, a base colony ship for um, our planet type. Oh, the stars twinkle. Did they always twinkle? This is really cool. I am not complaining here. Anyways, let's look at our victory conditions, which is control 33% uh, of the continental gal colonies, make mutual defense packs, which we need to do, destroy lots of enemy ships, earn a lot of trade income, earn a lot of tourist income, and then the standard three things. Uh, we are the best in the galaxy with our 73 firepower. The reduced uh, pirates means that they'll most likely uh, be less of them. Turning off tech trading is, I think, really important because I can abuse it and the AI will definitely abuse it. So I think that will possibly keep the AI from getting too OP. But also, you know, I may have fucked up. Does everyone keep seeing a blinking like right here? Oh, there's a storm going on there. Okay. So as always, the first the first episode is going to be a little boring just because I started it off with uh, without my ability to what am I trying to say without the ability to uh, so we're going to build here an exploration ship without the ability for warp drive yet I haven't done a, a, a start from you know the basics game in a long time so that's what we're gonna do now we're hoping that our tech is here at the hidden tomb of cyber prime and not over here at the gate of cyber prime what's our government by the way i didn't check that um cool so we've constructed our first come on 
Get over here. We constructed our first ship, and it's gonna slow boat over to uh, to uh, that area over there. The next thing I want to do is we have a pair of intelligence agents that can't do anything at the moment. So yeah, they're gonna slow boat over there, and then we do want to build a construction ship, even though we don't have we won't have warp field precursors. At least they'll get out there and start doing things. It's hard to see our ships on the map. That's a uh, an issue. Hmm. That's an issue for sure. Okay, you. I want you to come over here. Come on. Not to the fatal destination. I want you to go to the planet. The moon. Cool. So once this construction ship is built, we will send it out to do automate its its process as well. Is that construction ship done? Yes, so you should be automated. Um, so I'm going to pause here. How many ships did they show up with and how strong is that ship? So they're here with a ship with 12 firepower. And that's it. I have a spaceport. Investigate the ruins. We found money. I found the spaceport that has much more firepower. So that's good. You should automate. These guys are just chilling. You too should automate, by the way. Hopefully you get to your destination sooner than later. There's no real point to build any ships at this point in time, by the way. Uh, any uh, military ships at this time. I can always uh, play games with, with these guys. So they warped off, that's fine. I can always play games with the AI to get them to be, don't be bitches, basically. So we'll work on that. For now, we're doing fine, though. This is what, another frigate? An escort with 12 firepower, yeah. You have shields? You have no shields, because I have no shield tech. All right. Um, it would be real good to get one of these colonization techs. Let's go with Marshy Swamp, because I still believe I'll be able to get... Um, native uh, continental colonization technology from by my dudes. That is my belief, at least. Are you not building things anywhere? So, like, can you come down here and build a uh, gas mining station or something like that? So we can mine... Why would you build that, actually? No, don't do that. Don't build a gas mining station there, but go build something somewhere. Um, spiral aerotide production begins at Cyber Prime 2. All right, cool. That's not a problem, I think. What would be good, though, is to get a few more defensive troops. We've also established a reach, a breakthrough in, I'm guessing it was shielding? Yes. So now what we want to do... I mean, we're going to want to save up to be able to research warp field precursors, which is still super expensive to research. What will it take to get the advanced fission reactor? Let's start, let's start getting the reactor built. We will also uh, go to our designs and uh, auto upgrade all of these designs. If I go to this design and manually upgrade it, do you have shielding? No shielding, of course not. So let's uh, throw some shielding on here. I wanna give you at least 2000 shields, I think. And then we need hab modules and life support modules. You have no armor as well? Wow, you should have some of that. Oh, I don't have any armor research, so how could I put armor on there? Do I have energy collectors? I don't have any energy collectors? Oh, wow. Um, all right, let's save this. 
you have n any non-obsolete designs. You don't have any non-obsolete or passenger ships. Ships. All right. Um, can I get like a default design? Show um, non-obsolete design. Sub role. I don't have any designs. Load designs. All designs. There are actually no passenger ship designs at all, so I'm going to have to create a new one. Um, I don't actually know what goes on in a passenger ship, so let's cancel that. Let's take a freighter, I guess. We'll take our small freighter, and we will uh, copy as new. Then we will turn this into passenger ship. Uh, we will get rid of the cargo bay and instead put in passenger component. I'd love to add a hyperdrive. I don't have that technology yet, my friend. Um, where are you at, passenger component? What the hell am I looking for? Storage passenger component. There we go. Let's get a uh, five here. I think, I guess that's good. I honestly don't know. So we'll call this the uh, PS1 passenger liner. All right, so we got that guy at least. Can't, it's designed because it's already in use. Yeah, I know. How do I? If I came in here and said, uh, like, what's what the hell's optimized mean? And how the fuck do I optimize? Never got that meaning. But whatever. All right. That will give us a passenger design at least. All right. So we got energy torpedoes, which will then bring us up to enhanced energy torpedoes. Those are the only options we have. And here, after you're done with this, I really think you should be getting, um... Oh, they've made the Trade Bazaar a separate, independent wonder. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, sorry, I got uh, distracted. Um, we're looking for... Energy... thingies. Oh, it'd be probably under energy. Yeah. It's probably in here somewhere. Energy collection. Yeah, that's gonna be the next thing we get after advanced nuclear fission. Oh shit, but we want hyperdrives after advanced nuclear fission. Alright, so we're gonna cancel our current research on advanced nuclear fission. So that we can get research into energy collection before we start our warp field precursors, which are going to happen here shortly. But it's time to end the episode already, I think. Let's at least get um, get our warp technology found before I, before I end the episode. But otherwise, it's time to end the episode, guys. And so Disney World's Universe, it is back. Hopefully, uh, this is going to be an interesting game. I think it will be. To forget that's a destroyer. Investigate the ruins. We found warp field precursors. Beautiful. So now we should be able to, after we get energy collectors, which I think are, are really important to get warp field precursors. Actually, I think the uh, warp field precursors are more important than the energy collectors. So we'll start the warp field precursors. Anyway, I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all. Well, before I end, I should say, I'll say this one time just for this episode, uh, and then you won't hear this ever again in the rest of the, the, this playthrough, but uh, if you're interested in this stuff, you know, consider subscribing and liking and all that stuff, and if you're not, don't. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, with that being said, though, I will see you all next time.